here tonight. Bob, he's here. I don't know why the hell he's here, but he's here. Uh, let's see. Uh, me. I don't know who the hell I am. Uh, Roy Yankowitz showed up here, too. A saxophone player. He's going to play tonight for us, too. Yeah, he's here hiding somewhere. Mike Scanlon. Where's Mike? Mike's down at the end of the bar down there. He's shining up his trombone. He's going to lean on it. He's not going to play it. He's going to lean on it. Mike. Uh, Mark Williams. Where's Mark? Mark side. Trumpet player. And one of our original sax players, Emery Craniac, a guy that was really, uh, really a sharp player. Uh, he's got emphysema so bad, he doesn't play the sax anymore. He walks around with a uh, with a, an oxygen bottle, so he wasn't able to make it tonight. So. That's it. But now, now listen to this. Now. Everybody's got to listen because I'm not repeating it. And if you want to buy a copy of this, it's going to cost you five bucks. Okay. This is my friend Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob and I go back to Republic Steel days of roughly 1965. We've known each other all those years. Bob played in a band called The Gents. We followed him around with some other guys that I knew back then uh, to places like uh, m and Lounge and more some of the other places. Huh? You don't even remember. We're so old you don't remember. But anyhow, uh, a tropical live. They knocked that down. There's a, there's a donut star there. Uh, okay, I'm going to read this now. And listen up. Okay, when Bob uh, Nagy put, his, put the band together in 1984, to showcase the Blues Brothers review show. I could have known that the Good Times band would have still be rocking over 25 years, specializing in rhythm and blues. Rock. And playing everything with dancers at night. And you can dance. If you want to dance, you can do that. You can do that. Okay. Uh, let's see. In 1984, we did the first Blues Brothers review. And that was something that Bob and I, when we worked together, talked about. We said, we're doing this party at the Piscateer Club over in Dawn. It's a, it's a fishing club. And uh, we introduced it at our, their club's 50s and 60s dance. And it was the start of over 25 years of, of uh, rock and roll memory. In 1990, at the height of the band's success, the band was performing at places like... Blue Suede Shoes. We played Blue Suede Shoes in Burnham. We played Blue Suede Shoes all the way north in Evanston, I believe it was at that time. A Lake Geneva. Wow, we drove all the way up there. How do we get back? Uh, in Jukebox Saturday Night, which used to be out on 159th Street. Festivals all the way down to here. Just to name some. Cal City, Dalton, Cherville, Lansing's Grand Old Fort, Pegwish, Beecher. We played the Lake County Fair to mention. Numerous church and organization events and fundraisers in surrounding suburbs and communities like the South Suburban Classic Car Club, which we played 50s and 60s dances for many years in a row. Uh, the Higwish Bulldogs, uh, it was a sports group that we did fundraising for them for. Veteran organizations, uh, the Marine Corps League, Lansing Veterans Memorial, BVA Chapters 285 and the 153. Many of the festivals we opened or met Members of the American Breed, the Buckinghams, yeah. Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Yeah. Mitch Ryder's an asshole. Total <laughs> asshole. I swear to God, I'll never forget this. He got out of his limo and he walked up the stage and I was standing there with an album meant for him to sign. He didn't even look at me. He went up there, he did his gig and he left. Remember <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ronnie Rice, we played with Ronnie Rice from the New Colony Six, right in this room here. And believe it or not, Gary Sinise of the Lieutenant Dan Band 
Forrest Gump fame and CSI fame playing bass with these guys. At the, at the, at the Lantics Country Club. Memories all shared by these 20 musicians that uh, shared the stage with us over 25 years of fame. Attested here tonight. The most memorable experience that we all know happened to us. Oh, it was 1997, I want to guess. We did a, a festival in Schaumburg, and we were approached by, by a gentleman that had just opened a pizza parlor called Blues Brothers Pizza. Blues Brothers Pizza, they delivered their pizzas in limos, black hats, and sunglasses. And the guy said, we're doing a grand opening, and we want you guys to play. We had a band, I forget what the name of the band was, but they were a big name out of Detroit. They opened for us. They opened for us. When that when that gig was over, it was a parking lot thing, a stage built out and everything. We went inside for beer and pizza, and we met Agnes Belushi. Wow. Agnes Belushi, the mother of John and Jim Belushi. We, we, she was a silent partner in the business, and uh, the only way, way they could use Blues Brothers Pizza was to, uh, to uh, use a... Uh, they're okay. Now, my wife, if you want, want to jump on top of her over there, we've got a whole bunch of them. No, no, no. Wait a minute, Wait a minute, Wait a minute. I should rephrase that. If you want to go... We've got one volunteer. We've got a, we've got a, a, a book with memorabilia this thick. We've got a full round of all those guys when we used to be young back there. And up at the bar, at the back of the bread bar, there's a lot of photos of us guys back there. Uh, we've got what? They're so old they're in black and white. You notice that? <laughs> okay. And we want to point out tonight, this is one thing that we'll always remember. Okay. When Dan Brown retired from the band as drummer, and I don't remember what year. Dan, you remember what year you retired? I should be going to. He don't even remember. He's a grandfather now, if you can believe that. Okay. Yeah, now he looks. What year did you retire, Dan, from the band? He don't know. Anyhow, a young a young guy that was a friend of my, my son, one of his best friends, his name was Phil Mankowski. Phil played, by, uh, played with us for I don't know how many years after that. And then, um, he was only 31 years old and he died in a tra tragic motorcycle accident. On his way home to uh, get dressed to come over to Our Lady of Knock Church, we, uh, where they were doing a, uh, a party there. And Phil died in this motorcycle accident on 159th and uh, outside the McDonald's there in South Holland. And our, our slide trombone player, Mike Scanlon, who uh, worked for the Mike Scanlon. South Holland Paramedics, was the first on the scene, and he walked over to Phil laying on the ground there, and when he rolled Phil over, he said, oh my God, it's Phil. We've got here tonight, uh, Dan, Sta uh, Dan, you want to stand up here? This is Dan Mankowski, Phil's dad. And we dedicate this to Phil Mankowski.